Hey, asshole, are you sick of your own shit? I'm going to kick your ass. Hey, Coach Ashley here at the Critical Bench Compound. And yes, you're probably taking your sick of your own shit. I am too. Listen, did your slip turn into a slide after Halloween? Mmm. Probably did. You went into Thanksgiving, you rolled into Christmas, and suddenly we're here. Hello, welcome. So today I'm gonna kick your ass. I hope you're ready for it. And as you guys know, you gotta be feeling your bodies. I have something for you in the comment below. Go ahead, check it out. We're just gonna go ahead right into it and get started. So today's workout, we're gonna do E-Mom style. And if you don't know what an E-Mom is, E-Mom, not an E-Dad, right? E-Mom, every minute on the minute. Today you're gonna perform three different blocks. And you're gonna do each of those blocks three times through. So three exercises, three blocks, three times on each block. We're gonna show you guys real fast what the workout looks like. Go ahead and screenshot this real quick. Real quick. There it is. All right, so block number one. We're gonna go 16 dumbbell reverse lunges. That's gonna be an alternating lunge. Uh, exercise number two on block number one is gonna be 10 dumbbell renegade rows in. Exercise three is a 30 second plank. I'm not gonna tell you all of these blocks up front. I'm gonna give it to you up front. You're gonna do that three times. I'm gonna do the first round for you. So real fast, I'm gonna demo these. We're gonna go 16, reverse lunge, right? We're alternating. We're gonna go 10, dumbbell renegade rows. And if you know renegade row, there's a push up with it. Row, right back into that push up. And then the final is a 30 second plank. I don't have to demo that one for you. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get my watch started. You have one entire minute. This is the point of the EMOM. You have one minute to get 16 reverse lunges in. It takes you 30 seconds, you get 30 seconds to recover. It takes you 50 seconds, you get 10 seconds to recover. But every minute on the minute, EMOM, you start the new movement. All right, guys. So we're gonna go 16 dumbbell reverse lunges. If you're doing this one with me, go ahead and do it so you see the pace that you need to keep up for all three rounds. And we're gonna go in three, two, one. 16, 15, 14, 13, shoulders back, 12, core is tight, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, recover. All right, guys, 30 seconds, see, there you go. None of these movements should take you longer than 30 seconds. That's how I programmed it. It's taking longer than 30 seconds for these movements. You should get at least 30 to recover. Probably get a little bit lighter in your weight. These are metabolic burns. I want you to get your heart rate up. And I want you to keep moving. I'm kicking your ass. Remember, we're not focusing on slow and control today. We're trying to get the movement up. 10 seconds. We're gonna go into that renegade row. I've done about 125 push-ups this week and it's only Wednesday. So I'm gonna do these on my knees. All right? So. Push up, but I'm going to my toes for that row. One. Remember, we have 10 of these. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last rep, best rep, 10. 25 seconds to recover. I hate those, but that's what we do them, right? We do, do things we hate. So the last one is not for reps. We're strictly going 30 seconds in a plank. So we're gonna go ahead. We have five seconds, high plank or low plank. Go in three, two, one. Right, you guys have 30 seconds here. Belly button is in. Keep the glutes nice and tight. Quads are, quad are tight. Eyes are looking not at your hands, just above, not at your toes. Keep those hips nice and low. And remember, we're holding this for 30 seconds. You're halfway there, guys, 15 seconds. And this is programmed in 30 second recovery right here. Keep the core tight. Final seven seconds. Three, two, one. Recover, you get a 30 second recovery and you're going right back into round two. Round two, again, 16 reverse lunge, you get a minute to do it. You're gonna start in 20 seconds, guys, so get ready. You guys have two more rounds after this. Reverse lunge, row, 
plank, recover, reverse lunge, run, reverse lunge, row, and plank, recover. Go ahead, press pause. You guys are on the clock in five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead, get that second round through. Alright guys, that's round two. You just did round two. You guys have 30 seconds. We're kicking off round three. Your third round is going to be the hardest round. I need you to get through it. You're getting rid of the excuses. We're getting your asses kicked. Let's go. Alright, you guys are recovered, right? That's block one. You got two more blocks, guys. You got this. And again, as I said, if it is taking you a little bit longer to get these movements done, longer than 30 seconds in your one minute, go a little bit lighter in that movement. These are more intense movements. They are requiring more of your body, a lot of athleticism, a lot of core too, okay? So second block, we're gonna go 15 sumo deadlift into a high pool. All right, so sumo deadlift, toes are out. That's your sumo position, shoulder blades back pocket. Palms are facing in, sumo deadlift, rotate into that high pull. We're here for 15. However long that takes you, hopefully it takes you about 30 seconds. We're gonna go into an alternating snatch. So get rid of one of those dumbbells. We're gonna here, snatch. You can switch above head, or you can switch down at the base. You have 10 of those. That one's a little freebie for you because I love snatches, they're great. And then again, just like round one, 30 second, plank, leg lift, alternating those legs, high or low plank. Go ahead, grab your set of dumbbells. I'm using the same set of dumbbells for this whole workout. I would encourage you the same. All right, we're gonna go. We have a minute to do 15 sumo deadlift to a high pool. Get those feet ready in three, two, one. Let's go. 15, 14, 13, hinge those hips, 12. Slight bend the knees, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 27 seconds, there you go. That's how fast you should be doing these. My heart rate through the roof. 25 seconds, we're gonna set one of those dumbbells off to the side and we're gonna recover a little bit. Get ready for the snatch. Just 10. Five each arm, but it is alternating. We go in 10 seconds. You ready? I do these kind of workouts three times a week, literally. We go four, three, two, one. We have 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. There it is. 20 seconds. Snatches, a little bit easier for me. It's a full power driven movement. If you're still working through them, get through them guys. You got 30 seconds to finish those. However long recovery you have afterwards. And if your weight's too light and you're not breathing heavy like I am right now, Need to go a little heavier, guys. These are meant to be difficult, and they're meant to be challenging. 15 seconds, we're going to that plank leg lift. Again, low plank, high plank, choice is yours. We're gonna alternate those legs. All right, guys, we go in five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds here. Squeeze that glute as you lift that leg. Belly button is to the spine. Rotate those hips in a little bit. Eyes directly in front of you, not by your hands. Make sure that spine stays neutral. All right, guys, 10 seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds to recover, you're starting round two. Right back at the top, sumo deadlift to a high pull, you have 15. 10 alternating snatches. 30 second plank, alternating leg left. You're gonna do that two more times, guys. Two more blocks. You got 15 seconds. 
breathe. Maybe lay down, get that flip, the oxygen going. Feeling good right now. You're almost halfway through this workout. All right, guys, you're going again in five, four, three, no excuses, two, one. Let's go, second round. All right, third round, right here, baby. Let's go, no excuses, keep going. guys that's it two blocks down one block to go they go relatively fast you're technically working three minutes straight I mean all the way through nine minutes total this is a full workout for you if you haven't caught that already this is a full workout and I promise results will follow as long as you're showing up and you're performing these movements and you're pushing yourself last block best block again we're going three rounds our first movement is gonna be 15 dumbbell push press Push press is a bend of the knees. My hips don't hinge at all. Bend, power, pull my elbows to my ears. Second movement, as I'm looking at this, I'm like, who wrote this? I did. We're gonna go 10 devil's press. For here, we love our burpees. Swing up, overhead, right back into that full push up. Last one, fast one. We're gonna go to our back. No more planks, you're welcome. We're gonna go 30 seconds to reach. I don't have to demo that one for you. It's very straightforward. Again, like I said in the intro, guys, I'm using the same weight for this whole workout. This should not take you a lot of equipment. You can do this one at home, you can do it at the gym, do wherever you like. That's the goal of this. Getting our asses kicked, you have no more excuses. All right, you got a minute, we're gonna do 15 push press, guys. Go ahead, grab those weights, get standing. We're gonna go in three, two, one, let's go. 15, 14, 13, Course tight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There it is. 18 seconds. Woo. All right. Yeah, my heart's pounding. 10 double press. It's kind of good. We get 40 seconds to recover before we do 10 of those. It's so basically the burpee's like evil stepsister because we're adding weight to it, right? And then we're adding hip swing, hip, hip hinge, and two basically a snatch, but I love them. 15 seconds, just breathe. Remember, you got a whole minute to do 10, but the slower you go, the less recovery you're gonna have. We go in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Halfway. Five. Four. Three. Last two. Two, last rep, best rep. All the way through. One. Woo. 10 seconds, guys, let's get on our backs. Toe reach. All right, 30 seconds here. And then you get a program 30 second recovery. In three, two, one. Keeping that lower back on the ground, reaching for those toes. After doing an intense exercise like that, being on your back is naturally gonna lower your heart rate, guys. So there's a reason I gave you these after those two movements. Three, two, one. Go ahead, stay on the ground, recover for 30 more seconds. You guys have round two. Again, last block, best block, possibly your hardest block. You have to get through this, guys. If you wanna see changes, if you wanna see results in your bodies, we're getting rare excuses, it happens here. You have 10 seconds, you're back at the top at your push press. Go ahead, stand up, 
get your mind right, guys. You go in four, three, two, one. Round two. guys right here you guys have 30 more seconds you're hitting round three again don't forget prioritize that nutrition i gave it to you it's easy check the link below let's go you're starting in 10 seconds get set third round last round best round and your workout is done for the day done for the day let's get That's it guys, your first time get kicked. Don't worry, there's gonna be more. I have a 10 series, 10 part series here. We're gonna get our kicked together. I'm delivering all to you. It's very simple and equipment wise. You're looking at dumbbells, kettlebells, and maybe a bumper plate, that's it. Get kicked, let's go. Get rid of the excuses. Check out that link below. Coach Ashley, see you next time.